chest is probably my third best body part. Second, I think back, back's my best. Then I maybe say legs or chest and then yeah. So, get an insane pump. Trying out a non-stem pre. And yeah, so let's get it. Alrighty guys. So, sorry about that awkward first clip. I mean, I was uh, five weeks out um, in this video and so I was very out of it. So anyways, in the previous video I said I like to start off my chest workouts with incline and here I just found a incline chest press video from five weeks out and and I just kind of wanted to go over the form on this video with you guys just a little. Um, one thing that I'm big on on incline is getting deep stretch. Um, this is going to be more of a stretch movement and stretch based. You're going to feel this movement a lot more in the stretch position and it's not so much a squeeze type movement. So yeah, just really focusing on the stretch. Here is a failure set. so really just or one rep from failure but just really training that hard and making sure you're getting that deep stretch and here you can see kind of my gnarly pump how shredded I am how lean I am just a little bit <laughs> um, five weeks out so yeah anyways I just want to quickly go over that incline chest video let me all right so the next important thing when it comes to chest training and a movement that I've used a lot is a converging chest press like the one I'm doing right here and right now I'm, this isn't programmed but some type of flat chest type movement like this has really been crucial now this is both a stretch and a squeeze type movement and this one any kind of clavicular or not clavicular any type of converging chest press like this you're gonna get a crazy squeeze at the top range of the motion and then you can really get a good deep stretch on this without fear of ego lifting. It's really hard to ego lifting on this type of machine. So if you are, you got to be doing something dumb. But this movement I've used a lot and it's very humbling because you can't go. If you're doing it correctly, you really can't go super heavy. Like I've never, I think the most I've ever done on one of these machines is like half a stack. So it's one of the harder movements, but <clears throat> it's one of the better movements and any kind of machine ch type of flat chest press has been crucial in my I would I would I would I would I would highly recommend including this if you're trying to get some big big juicy knockers so the final movement that I want to go over is going to be any kind of medial to front not really front raise I'm not a big fan of front raise because you already train it on chest but any kind of medial type of movement and I know what you guys are thinking, like, oh, is this easy? Isn't this a chest training video, how to get some big knockers? Yes, it is. But a key component to really making your chest pop out, I feel like, and just, I mean, just get stacked shelf is going to be, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like to complete your overall, like, kind of width, it's going to be some type of medial frontish delt type of raise in the, uh, in the uh, scapular, no, it's in the, um, hold on, let me look it up real quick. Yeah, so I was right, in the scapular plane, that if I'm correct, but please don't quote me, I'm not a scientist, but anyways, any kind of shoulder type of movement there, I feel like kind of helps develop that upper mid shelf. So like a clavicular press is going to work your, some of your front delt plus that upper shelf, um, or like kind of a side race, even though it's not directly tra training your chest. It's actually not training your chest at all. I feel like kind of completely a chest look. I feel like you should throw in a shoulder movement or two on your uh, chest days. So kind of to prove that point, I'm going to pull up a posing clip real quick. So yeah, right here is a perfect kind of example. You can see my upper chest. I mean, I'm shredded here, which helps, but kind of my upper chest there and how your front delts kind of help bring it out and like 
that's from front delt training that upper chest right there a lot of that's going to be upper shelf and clavicular anyways yeah and then obviously back shot looks insane and whatnot but <clears throat> i don't know if i made any sense but i feel like delts are going to be important key to your chest training and don't neglect them um medial and i would say maybe throw in one front raise or something i don't do any front raises but maybe once per week you could throw in a front raise of some kind um but i feel like through shoulder pressing and clavicular press i really don't need to hit my front outs but if you don't do those two movements because you have shoulder pain or something then yeah front raise or something might be uh helpful to develop that kind of upper shelf and kind of complete that chest uh fullness type so anyways i'll see you guys in the next video um hopefully i can actually like get behind the camera or get in front of the camera and uh go over some uh, training footage in person so i just got to find a workout person or hit up my cameraman and uh get to it so maybe this weekend i'll get to part three so all right thanks guys i'll see you in the next video